Hey guys, this is Tom. And today I want to do a video on my Royal 501. Mine is a very new one because mine is made in 1988. So this is the 1.8 amp version. Um, I got mine set at a height free. And so my personal opinion on this is it's very well built because it has an all metal construction. Uh, however, the filtration on this is very poor. What I mean by that is look. When you tear the bag system is very now I use bags on this. I use Royal Type H bags. So I got those from a vacuum store. I got free for seven dollars, which I will show you in a second. But I don't like this latch system. Because it's very it leaks dust. And I don't like that. Um so that's the only negative of this, but it's very well built. This one's a very new one, 1988 does make a name for itself as it's very good at cleaning and very durable. Now I'll show you the bags. It does help with filtration using these Royal Type H bags. These are super rare to find. And I was lucky to find these at Capital Vacuum on $6.99. I've seen them on Amazon for $10 for free. So this was a good price. Um, they're, they're very hard to find. So don't be like, oh, I'm going to go to Walmart and find these. No, they're, they're not that easy to find. And they look like this. And they fit all Royal Metal hand vacs. So... Definitely is good to have these. I don't like using mine as a shakeout bag. It really is not a good idea. Um, so yeah, it's a one speed motor and it cleans very good. So let's turn it on. By the way, it is very quiet because it's a very small motor. I forgot to mention, I purchased this for $30 on eBay. Wow, it was a nice one. So when I ordered it and I came back. Very nice cord and it's a blue themed. Thanks for watching this video. This is tough and I have to go.